Thank you, Larry, fellow Toastmasters, guests, and Lee and Sam. How and when did I meet Sam Alfano? Well, to answer that question, I have to go back long before I met Sam. Way back in the early 70s, I was an engineer at Harris Corporation in Florida, and my supervisor said to me, Sherry, if you want to get ahead in engineering, you have to join Toastmasters. As soon as he told me what Toastmasters was all about, not only was I not going to join Toastmasters, <coughs> I was not going to go to a meeting. <laughs> and that was firm. A few years later, I moved here to Santa Barbara. And between jobs at Delco, I was at Raytheon for a short period of time. That's when I met Ken Pierscala. And I thought Ken Pierscala was a great engineer. He really knew how to present himself. And I said to him one day, Ken, how did you get to be such a great presenter? Ken said to me, I'm a Toastmaster. Oh, jeez, my <laughs> boss was right. <laughs> okay, time to join Toastmasters. So I said, Ken, I am going to join a Toastmasters club. Ken Pierscala said to me, oh, no, you're not. It was Noventa, the men's only club. <laughs> he said, Sherry, you need to join a Toast Mistress Club. Now, for those of you who don't know, Smedley formed the Toast Masters Club, and it was men's only for many, many years for all the clubs. And his wife formed the Toast Mistress Club because she wanted the same thing for women. Well, I did find the Toast Mistress Club here in Santa Barbara. I went to the meeting, and you know what? I was not impressed, and that was not my thing. And then I found out about the Club 5 that I worked at that time, and I don't know why nobody ever told me about Noventa, but then a short time later, in 1978, I saw this ad somewhere, and it was about Toastmasters. And it said, if you want to form, help form a Toastmasters club, Come and meet with Sam Alfano. Everybody welcome. Everybody welcome. Not men. Everybody. <laughs> Boy, was I on board with this one. <laughs> so that's when I first met Sam Alfano. And I was ready. I was helping out all I could. We had a few people who met at the beginning. And then we continued with a few people. And a couple more people. By the end of... 78, we still had a lot less than we needed. But Sam said, we'll keep meeting once a week, come up with a name for your club, elect officers, and I don't know why, I was elected the president. I knew nothing about Toastmasters, never having been to a meeting before, but all of us who wanted this club, none of us had ever been to a Toastmasters meeting before. So all of us were sort of floundering together. So we elected our officers, and then we had to come up with a name. And I remember that, because I'm the one who conducted the brainstorming session for that. And I said, when we first come up with a name, everybody can come up with any name they want. I'll write it on the blackboard, no discussion, because I don't want any name left out intentionally. And then we'll discuss it afterwards. I, of course, came up with the name Mission. I thought this club should have the name Mission because, well, we're known for our mission and we are starting a new mission in our life when we join Toastmasters. Well, somewhere along the line, my secretary at Delco, by then I was at Delco, came up with a name, Mission Chapter. And my first thought was, oh, geez. Who would come up with a name like that? <laughs> so many clubs have chapters. And now, how confusing is that going to be? Everybody would assume that you're the chapter with the name Mission. But I held my tongue. I did not say a word. I wrote the name down. Then after all these names were submitted, there are at least 20 of them, I had each person stand up and say, why they wanted their name chosen as the name for the club. 
And Mary McNamara stood up and said, we not only are starting a new mission in our lives, we are turning over a new chapter. And when she was done speaking, I thought, oh no, I think this is going to be it. <laughs> sure enough, mission chapter won by a landslide. Can't believe you guys haven't changed it since then. <laughs> mission chapter it is. Then by 1979, early, we still did not have 20 members. Sam Alfano set a goal. Sam said, we are going to be chartered by the time Club 5 celebrates their anniversary in April. Of course, you know what the Club 5 anniversaries are. Every club is invited. These are big events. A week, little by little, got another person, another person. And by the end of March, we got our 20 people. But was there time to submit this paperwork and get it all done by the time of the Club 5 anniversary? Sam's got friends. <laughs> yes, it did happen. At that anniversary, I was presented with a gavel for the Mission Chapter Toastmasters Club. Sam met his goal. And the Sam still wanted us to keep working real hard. And Sam said, there's always a contest, an area contest for all the clubs, and Mission Chapter is going to host that contest. If you have any questions, please ask. Well, back then they didn't train officers, and none of us have ever been to a contest. Sure, we can ask questions, but what question? I don't know how we did it, but we plundered around and we did conduct a contest. We did invite the big wigs like Don Inch, Herb Nolan, and I thought the contest went pretty darn well. Although, right up to the contest, Herb Nolan called me aside. He said, Sherry, did you not know that it's customary to present trophies to the winners? <laughs> No, I didn't know that. I wondered often what other things we did wrong. I'm sure we changed all the rules for that one Toastmasters contest. But we did learn, we did survive. And not only was Sam a great Toastmasters mentor, about the time I bought a new house, well, in an old house, needing a lot of work, Sam retired. Sam wanted to try his hand at being a handyman. Well, that was perfect. I gave Sam a key to my house, told him what projects I needed done, and he could go in and work on them all day long whenever he wanted to. And that did work. He got a chance to learn how to be a handyman, and I got some work done by a trustworthy person. So Sam was a great Toastmaster, a great handyman, a great friend, we will miss you, Sam.